Hi there, my name is Mark Friesen. I'm with SFU Public Square. This is a online presentation for hosts of 100 Community Conversations, an initiative that we're doing as part of the 2013 SFU Public Square Community Summit on charting BC's economic future. What we're looking to do is have 100 groups uh, across the province engage in conversations on the BC economy in the month of September, no later than October 2nd, and we're then looking to compile the results from those conversations and build a citizen's agenda for BC's economic future. If you're looking at this video, you've expressed an interest or you've confirmed participation as a host of a community conversation, for that I thank you. Hosts of community conversation will receive two things. One is a facilitation guide, just like that. The other is a discussion guide, and they look almost the same. This one's in color. <laughs> they look almost the same on the cover, but they're quite different. The discussion guide is for all the participants, and that's background reading based on the research uh, that we've begun that um, really starts to scratch the surface of the BC economy and what it looks like, but I'd like to emphasize that, that it is just scratching the surface, and through this process, we're, we're looking to dig a little bit deeper. And so this is background reading really to start this conversation and to get those who are participating in a conversation thinking about, a, a, about the BC economy based on, on, on um, some facts. The facilitation guide, uh, this piece, this is just for the person who's leading the conversation, and I'd like to emphasize it doesn't need to be a trained professional facilitator. This is just someone who's agreed to take the role of guiding the participants through a conversation on the BC economy. Now, as a facilitator, your primary focus is to set a tone of dialogue and a welcoming tone where everyone who's participating is encouraged to contribute. This is in stark contrast to a debate style of conversation or even a deliberation. So these conversations are meant to be generative and so we're looking for groups to generate and come up with new ideas, new strategies on, uh, on the BC economy, not deliberate, defend or advocate for particular points of view. And those are two very different approaches to having a, a conversation or discussion. We'll often see on the news debates, but for this process we're looking for dialogue. And so looking for the participants to learn just as much from each other as, as they are sharing themselves. Uh, and ideally through that dialogue and discussion coming up with new ideas and new strategies on, on the BC economy. I'm not going to go through the process in a lot of detail, I'm just going to go through highlights. For SFU Public Square, we will be providing hosts, in addition to these guides, a note taker form so that we can capture the feedback from the conversation and also hard copies of a survey for all the participants to complete at the end. And I'll, I'll speak about the survey uh, in a moment. For the note taker, they can fill out the notes using an online fillable form. We prefer that because then we're able to collect the results instantly uh, and build our citizens agenda as, as quickly as possible from all 100 community conversations we're looking to hold. If that's not possible, if internet isn't available, then note takers can f submit it using the Word template and then can email it in uh, or even mail it back with the participant surveys, which we will be receiving via hard copy. Um, so the process, the, the conversation is really three big pieces. There's a quiz at the outset, then a SWOT analysis, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats to the BC economy, and then a brainstorming or visioning exercise. Uh, before the quiz, uh, right at the start of the session, we're going to get the facilitator to get everyone to introduce themselves and also identify one hope and one concern for the BC economy. Hope and concern, it could be anything, uh, ideally facing the, the economy of the province as a whole, and just to go around and around the group. That just gives everyone a chance to introduce themselves and sets the tone for uh, the discussion on the, on the BC economy that's coming. The note taker will be recording. We want to capture that back, uh, the hopes and concerns of the BC economy. So it's important for the note taker to capture those. The next piece is the quiz. And for this piece, uh, the note taker does not need to capture any feedback. This is just meant to get everybody, get the gears turning. It's, it's meant to be fun. It's meant to uh, raise the group's awareness uh, about some of the facts and information that we've discovered in our research that's highlighted in the discussion guide. So it's not meant to take up a lot of time. And so it should be very quick and short. And um, we're not, SFU Public Square is not looking to gather any feedback from the quiz. It's really meant for the facilitator, for the groups, to, to lead them towards thinking about the provincial economy. For groups that are really pressed for time, the quiz could even be cut. And so 
facilitators and groups can go from the hopes and concerns right into the SWOT analysis if they're really pressed for time uh, and don't want to do the quiz. So for the SWOT analysis, that's giving participants a chance. Uh, we're asking that you as a facilitator to get them to write down their strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats to the BC economy. They can write down as many strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats as they like. And then what we'd like to encourage is the host to provide some kind of venue or medium for participants to share their suggested strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats in the BC economy with the group. And so post-it notes that can be put up or a dry erase board where folks can write them down um, or a chalkboard. Um, so some kind of medium to share them with the group if, if that's at all possible. And so participants are just doing that on their own and the note taker could record them when participants put them up or can capture them uh, on the note taker form at the end of the session when, it, when it's all done. Uh, but we do want the participants to write them down to make sure that the note taker gets an accurate uh, depiction of, of what those suggestions are. After that, we're asking the facilitator to review with the group as a whole the strengths and opportunities. It's not meant to diminish or take away from the weaknesses or threats. The note taker will be capturing, capturing those for SFE Public Square. But for the group and the facilitator, we want you to focus on the strengths and the opportunities, the positive aspects to get the group moving forward in an appreciative inquiry style towards the next piece, with, which is a visioning exercise. And so really starting with the positive aspects of the BC economy that uh, groups might be able to refer to in the, in the brainstorming exercise on the BC economy. So then after the SWOT exercise, you can have a short break, or if participants are keen to go to the next piece, you can, you can jump right into the visioning exercise. For, for this piece, this is one of the most important and um, exciting parts of the, of the discussion. Uh, for us, this is really an opportunity to hear uh, the perspectives of BC residents on the BC economy and uh, possible directions that they might like to see the, the province take. So the questions outlined in the guide address the three focal areas of this process. So how do we chart the BC economy to create wealth, build social equity, and protect the environment? So we're asking groups for this to come up with up to five strategies to do those three things. And groups can come up with strategies to that are focused on one of those things, either creating wealth, building social equity, or protecting the environment. Or ideally, we're looking for groups to come up with strategies that would address all three. As an example, we've provided in the facilitation guide an example of an integrated strategy, and that's a policy in Metro Vancouver that was targeted to protect the environment. So Metro Vancouver was looking to divert waste from the landfills, but that resulted in a business opportunity. Uh, a company by the name of Recycling Alternatives was able to make a business out of that uh, using uh, waste material and reusing them into other products. So there was a wealth creation opportunity opportunity that came out of that. And they were also able to hire folks from the downtown east side, so there was a social component as well. So it started as a, a strategy to address the environment, had spin-offs for wealth creation and social equity as well. So that's an example of a strategy or action that uh, addressed all three focal areas that we're looking to do or address. So bigger for this visioning exercise, we'd ask that bigger groups split up into smaller groups of three to five people, or if all you have in your kitchen or community center is you know, four to six people, you could just remain together as a group. And this is really the time for the facilitator to step back and let the group discuss and deliver and and not deliberate, <laughs> discuss and have a dialogue around uh, ideas and strategies to to do those those three things. That makes up about 45 minutes to 50 minutes, so giving the group a good chunk of time to come up to brainstorm uh, new strategies and ideas uh, to, to address those, those focal areas. At the conclusion of that, we'd like the facilitator to get the group back together if you've had multiple groups and have one person from each group present the top ideas and, stra and strategies to chart the BC economy. If you've only had one group, obviously that report back is, is not required. And the note taker, this is where SFU Public Square, we definitely need the note taker to be capturing those actions and strategies for, for submission to, uh, to us and inclusion in uh, the citizens agenda going forward. After that, uh, go, doing a round, asking, uh, getting the facilitator to ask if there are any strategies that stood out for them, for participants in particular, as particularly good uh, 
thoughtful strategies that address all three focal areas, and then doing a closing round. And so asking everyone to give a you know single statement or word uh, encapsulating how they felt about about the process and the conversation that evening. And then it's critical that each of the participants fill out the hard copy, the survey that we've that we've provided, and. To emphasize too, the survey has some tough questions on the BC economy. We're just looking for what participants think are the answers. The survey is trying to get a sense of uh, the perceptions of BC residents on the economy. So it's not meant to be a, a skill testing demanding question. If people don't know the answer, we're, we're encouraging them to guess just, just what they think are the answers to the questions in the survey. So hopefully people won't get too stuck on the questions. It does ask some tough questions, but this is in line with one of our goals, which is just to raise the awareness and the, the literacy around uh, the economy of the province uh, and where we are and, and where we'd like to go. As a host, you would have been provided a postage paid envelope to get us back the surveys afterwards. And so making sure that, that we get back. And then of course the note taker making sure they submit the online form or email me a Word document with the results of the community conversation. So that's all I've got. If there are any questions after watching this video, don't hesitate to call me at SFU Public Square. Sorry, my computer stopped for a moment. Don't hesitate to call me at SFU Public Square. Uh, and thank you very much for hosting and participating in this process. We're very excited for the outcome and moving this conversation forward.